Firstly, within the original project, select the project you want to process, then right-click and choose Optimize Accuracy, or you can directly select Optimize Accuracy from the menu bar. This action will navigate you to the Optimize Accuracy interface, where you'll see options for project selection, GNSS trajectory optimization, TGCP trajectory optimization, and result settings. First up is project selection, where you can view all available projects in the project list. After selecting the desired project, click Next. Next, we move on to GNSS trajectory optimization. This requires that when operating the RS-10 in the field, the device can receive GNSS data, supported by static data. Ensure your work environment can receive satellite data with a fixed solution to guarantee the quality of your data. Static data can be provided using a cloud base station or a physical base station. Only after meeting these conditions can you utilize PPK to optimize your data. During the GNSS trajectory optimization process, you can also set the ephemeris data, where the default settings are usually sufficient. All these settings can be applied to other projects as well. For TGCP trajectory optimization, there is a separate video for presentation to avoid confusion. Finally, for the result settings, you can perform thickness optimization by choosing from high quality, balanced, or high efficiency modes to refine the structural details of the point cloud. Additionally, you can filter moving people and objects, apply color to the point cloud using image data, and resample the point cloud data. In the advanced settings, you can filter the point cloud, including options for three-dimensional distance filtering, intensity filtering, and noise filtering, all of which help to further enhance the data quality. After completing all settings, you can choose whether the software should automatically load the point cloud once data processing is complete and specify the output directory. It's important to remember that the output path should only include alphanumeric characters. Lastly, click Start to begin the data refinement process. This completes the entire walkthrough of the one-click refinement process.